So um, you can do this with a cable. You can also do this one with a stretchy band, um, depending on what you've got. But uh, the split stance part of it is that we're going to do one foot forward, one foot back. I'm going to show you the left foot forward uh, and rowing back with the right arm. So whatever foot was forward, the opposite arm is going to row back. So for here, I'm going to go ahead and get my cable in my hand. I'm going to get left foot in front of right foot, and I'm up on my toes on the right foot. And I'm going to tuck my tail a little bit and shift into my left hip. So I'm sucking my left knee back up towards my hip socket or thinking about rotating my hips over towards the left. Either one will work. When I do that, I feel a little bit of left inner thigh, a little bit of left outside hip. And I'm also going to crunch down just a little bit to the side to get some left abs. From here, I'm going to hold on to all those things on the left side. And I'm going to row back with the right arm, keeping contact in my brain with all of those left sided places we just talked about. Other arm's going to go up. And I'm going to inhale, come back. Exhale, come forward. And each time that my right arm comes forward, I'm reconnecting to those plates on the left side, and I'm trying my best not to lose them as I row back. As I row back, I should feel all those left-sided things, as well as the back of my right shoulder. That's your low trap. Uh, you're going to go for between 8 to 12 reps on each side. Um, and depending on what your PT told you, you'll do one side or both sides.